Hello everyone, welcome to JustLaval.com. Here, this is the series I'm telling you about Laval from scratch. This is the first video in this series. Here in this video, I start with introduction to Laval. Then later I will go with uh, uh, installing your first Laval app. Then I'll go with directory structure. Then with all the other features uh, which Laval has. So here in this introduction to Laval, I'll just say about how popular it is. What are why do we need to use Laravel? All the best features we have in Laravel and all those things. So, so let's get started. The latest version of Laravel is Laravel 8. So, so uh, here uh, I'll continue this complete series with Laravel 8. So, why do we need to use Laravel? If you are doing a new project in PHP in 2020 and if you want to choose a framework for it, the chances are you are choosing Laravel because it is such popular it has also many advantages so let me first go to the laravel.com website here so this is the uh, latest laravel website here it says beautiful code uh, i quote uh, there is should there used to be a quote here maybe they have changed with latest versions i also made a tutorial on my channel here i'll search introduction Here I can find introduction to I mean introduction Laravel introduction you can see here this is the first tutorial I made in 2016. So here if you see the I have some screenshots it used to be like this love beautiful code we do too. So this is the this, this used to be the code in Laravel website why I am trying to show this is because Laravel has beautiful code as the documentation used to say. The thing is, I like I like this code, love beautiful code, we do too. So what it does, it, it forces you to write code so clean and elegant. It also has elegant syntax. From the developer's perspective, everything will be so clean, smooth uh, while writing code. And that's why we use this framework. And not only that, it also has some real advantages. Like uh, it used to be you know, one of the main advantages, this framework copes up with the new technologies with any new technologies advancing in the uh, in this uh, in this field web uh, in this field of web uh, web development this framework gets that and also it tries to implement that if you see in frameworks like if you see in versions like uh, laravel 6 or from uh, some version 5.3 and what's when these front end frameworks are all when when these front end frameworks are in force then Laravel enforce view as a default front end framework for Laravel applications. Then there used to be a default uh, authentication like in Laravel earlier versions like Laravel. It has authentication system where when we just type a command like in the Laravel PHP artificial make auth, it used to create some authentication default authentication. Many people used to use that now and later that it also created view that authentication was transferred to view like uh, in Laravel 6 onwards if you want to do an authentication it you it by default creates view components and then from La in Laravel 8 in the latest version Laravel 8 it gave people lot of other options not only for authentication but also for front end things uh, with these options people even got confused like what to use and started uh, saying that Laravel took away some features which were used to work and all those things but it doesn't it didn't do that all the existing features were all there but people just confused but when introducing these new features in earlier versions all the features are inbuilt but but here there is nothing inbuilt uh, if you wanted to if you wanted to use anything you can integrate in that that's what uh, that's how it's structured in Laravel 8 versions you can use uh, if you want to use Talwin you can use there is a Laravel uh, jet uh, jet stream Laravel 45 and so many other things and also you can use laravel blade if you want that still works and if you ask me for simple projects i still prefer blade itself blade templating language and please note it it's just my opinion you can choose whatever you want so with that said i said few things like first point is the way we write code uh, it's like elegant syntax it's also written here with express to elegant syntax this thing, this paragraph explains it all. This is what I'm talking about. Laravel is a web application framework with express to elegant syntax. You already laid the foundation, feeling you need, feeling you to create without sweating the small things. It's what the first thing I developed. We feel very better writing the code. 
and check and the second thing i told was it catches up with the newest technologies and tries to integrate them and it does it very well and the other thing is if you go to the documentation it has a very clear documentation very clear you can read the documentation understand by itself to be frank uh, while developing any other frameworks i never used to uh, go to documentation and understand things but from laravel when i started working with laravel when i get any doubt in laravel documentation is my first place to go because it's really clear and, and understandable that is that is one of the most helpful thing while you are using laravel and also if you see about upgrades and if you see the framework itself updates every 6 months like for every 6 months it releases a new laravel version uh, either with uh, minor bugs and fixes or with some advanced extra features it releases two versions in a year the yeah, latest release laravel 8 a uh, few months back 3 months back if you, if, you, if you go to the release notes you will see uh, laravel 6 was released on september 3 2019 And Laravel Seven was released on uh, September March third, twenty twenty. And this Laravel Eight was released on September eight, twenty twenty. So it's also uh, it, it's also showing us the future releases. Uh, probably on September twenty twenty one, we'll get a Laravel Nine, and we'll get a Laravel Ten on twenty twenty two September. So for every two versions, it also it also releases long term support system. so you don't need to feel anything about the advancements in web technologies it will definitely catch it and put that for you and also apart from that it also has beautiful uh, uh, structure for writing routes for middlewares for routing for middlewares and the uh, controllers and all such things that it has beautiful orm eloquent orm and it has some command line interface command command line tools where we can generate almost everything there's a, a command called artisan it, it does most of these things we can create controllers using artisan we can create migrations using artisan we can create models we can create whatever anything we can use using this artisan we have so many such features and apart from that i will also show you the stats i just said but i haven't show you any stats how popular laravel is so let me show you the popularity of uh, php framework If you search, if you search best PHP frameworks, uh, even the Google uh, card show you that first one is Laravel, Symfony, Coordinator, and also if you see, uh, if you go on to click couple of uh, uh, blogs here, uh, the one from Hacker and the one from Insta. If you open this, uh, you'll see the first one would be Laravel. In most cases, here the first preferred choice is Laravel. it has uh, it, it shows the advantages and the second is symphony the order which is here and if you go to some other blog it also says laravel as a top framework popularity in 2020 and if you go to some other website even this this should show laravel you can see this is also telling the laravel as a top framework even 2021 and 2020 So you see, this Laravel framework is uh, progressing very fast, and it's very advanced and uh, advanced framework, and it's also easy to use for developers. So mostly people are so mostly developers are preferring this uh, this uh, this framework, and also and also it's easy to convince clients with all these features. And also, as a as a for you to say, Laravel is an MVC framework, model view and controller. So this framework is like the the presentation the website what you see if you see this side i'll go to laravel website itself yeah in this page this page what you see is called view and if you inspect and see so all this you see this html and all this you see this is the view the thing which you are the thing which user sees is called a view some data will be passed to the view or uh, the data is passed from controller and controller also interact with models models means the databases Uh, models means you can understand something like databases where there is a lot of data in the data stored and this controllers takes the data and uh, do does some logic based upon the conditions like whether this is a paid member or free member whether this person is registered or unregistered based upon the conditions it will filter the data that conditional thing that logic or that business logic everything is done in the controllers 
and after that logic is done it will pass some data that data will be passed to views and that's what we see and the actual data all the application related data is stored in the databases and we use models to interact with the databases so that's how this model view controller thing works if I search for model view controller and this might be the right example let me go to see this so if you see you see this is the user and what user sees is from the view and this view and here you, and you can see controller is interacting with the, the model controller is sending some requests and model is, model is sending some data and after controller doing some logic it is sending some data to the view and that data is seen by the user with all that said let's go let's go on to the next part of this video so hope you understood this introduction this is just an introduction so so i'll go on with other videos like uh, installing your first laravel application it, it will not be like earlier laravel versions if you are from earlier laravel versions like laravel 7 or 6 or 5 it won't be like that in from laravel 8 onwards there is some change in the installing the application as well so i'll tell you in that next video about installation of insta, insta, uh, creating your first laravel app Later, I'll tell you about the directory structure, what things change from Laravel 5 onwards, and wow, how how is this, how is this folder structure placed, and what all the files we need to use. And after that, I'll continue all the basic concepts involved in Laravel, like routing, controlling, models, views, migrations, and all those things. I will release video every Friday, 6 p.m. So this is the first this is the first video in the series, and hope i'll see you hope i'll see you also in the next video in the next in the next week friday 6 pm same time so see you in the next video bye bye